if you look at the any nance platform kubernetes cloud foundry what's going on there with the platform well it's a path you know, we are learning constantly so we've uh, tested several working hypotheses one of which for example is you look at this platform spanning the across the globe stretching across on premise and public infrastructures they are the they are the hardest thing to look at that's why it's my favorite example so if you get those right all the others they will fall into place so how do you manage let's say five different kubernetes distros across five different infrastructures so in the question or the one of the working hypotheses we had was we'll go with a technology for example like cluster api or gardener that you know abstracts from the underlying infrastructure to a sufficient degree however our experiments we were running those products you know like for several quarters internally before we you know add them to the platform and so far none of none of them really crossed the chasm right so there are operational issues along with them so it it does not it does not provide the necessary confidence to say well this is the new module and there you go so if you do not have that bosch replacement in the kubernetes world how do you manage the life cycle of different kubernetes many kubernetes clusters across different uh, distros that will be the question so other technologies become more uh, appealing including uh, cross plane and um and once you figure that out how to declare a kubernetes cluster because you want to describe it declaratively you know like imagine a kubernetes meta cluster where you describe your environments to get them going because we are looking for the operational efficiencies for platform operations not only for application developers so and once you've passed that the next question would be if the organization is large what for example is creating or how do you create tenants on the level of large enterprise because you have those different business units they usually form a hierarchical um kind of structure so how do you how do you make sense of that how do you govern policies around managing application development platforms in the kubernetes ecosystem at at scale so there are interesting uh, projects that that promise to you know allow you the creation of workspace or tenants so to say and that's what we are looking into